Hey everyone and welcome to my scrappy space. So we're going to be going through my base page album but before I start this I want to say thank you guys so much for the overwhelming response that you've given me on doing my light bulb moment with my base pages. I've gotten a lot of new subscribers and I want to say welcome and I want to say thank you to my old subscribers. You guys are awesome and I just really really appreciate it everything that you guys have given me as far as encouragement and comments and the likes and everything like that. So thank you guys so much. And what I would like to do is we've all been through this base page album once and I'm going to go through it again and then I'm going to talk to you about what I want to do. Where What I plan on doing is I plan on pulling some out this time and then I plan on kind of breaking my album down into what it needs some of them needs photos some of them need embellishments some of them we just have to look at and see what else we need to do so let's get going so this base page and I do apologize about the glare on the page protectors but I need to kind of keep my album together still let's see if I can get this centered a little bit better Ooh, uh, it's kind of heavy it's kind of heavy now this is just an album that I've had. It's um, not a special album. It's just something that I picked up. I don't even know where I picked it up, but it works out perfectly. So I like to keep my scraps and all my little extra bits and bobs in a little eight and a half by 11 page protector. If I have another 12 by 12 piece of paper that I want to keep with this, I will make a note. See, I like to leave little notes and then I'll stick it back in between this. So I do have pictures for this one, and we kind of looked at this one before, but I want to continue on because what I'd like to do is pull three or four of the ones that I just have to put the photo on. So this one, I do have some stickers. I was going to do a Copa cut file, but I think what I'm going to do is just stick with the stickers. Okay, I think I can move this over. Okay, that's better. So I do want to use my stickers with that first one. So I'm just going to kind of leave that. These are some alphas that I apparently pulled. Now this base page here, I have a specific thing that I want to do with it. It has bicycles all over it. This one does need embellishments. And this one has a photo. These are the stickers that go with it. Okay, but these stickers go with that. These go with this and it has the photos. Those aren't the ones that I wanted to do yet. Now you'll see on this one, I have two different photos and this is me and my son, this one right here, <laughs> and his wife. So I hadn't decided which one I wanted to do. This one is horizontal, horizontal and vertical. So I just left them there. I'll come back to those. This one did not have a sketch. And then this is going to be homework. So if you guys have something that don't have any embellishments or that needs to be fussy cut, we're going to have some homework maybe too. But I just kind of want to get really super familiar with these. These, This one says that I have ephemera. So I have ephemera that goes with this collection. And these are old photos. This is my husband's mom, uh, grandparents, excuse me. And so I only have one photo of that. So I'm gonna have to be pretty creative with some ephemera. Now this one I think I shared before is um, railroad. My, my family comes from a railroad. They worked on the railroad for years. My uncles, my grandfather. So that one I wanna do with my grandfather. This is just a photo that I pulled, but it still needs embellishments. Here's some photos that go with this one, but I need embellishments. Now this one here, is, here again is two separate times. And this is my niece's first car. And I think this is the one I'm gonna use, but this is her first beater with a heater when she turns 16, so which is kind of funny. And then we're going to be talking about these guys. These are the kind of base pages that I struggle with. There's nothing. There's just the basic design. And I'm so sorry about the glare. And 
So those ones are going to be a struggle for me, but I love them. I do love the base of these. This is so pretty. Same with this one. But I do have a bunch of paper and things like that. So I'll be pulling that out with you guys. This one has some photos. Photos, but no embellishments. Okay, these are the two that I wanted to pull out, guys. And this is not a great photo. This was taken on a a cruise that we went on and unfortunately my husband has red eyes and I don't know do they still make those red eye pins I'm not sure so I'm going to pull this one out we're going to work on that one today that one's just a simple base page and then we're going to pull out these are the extra bits and bobs and it says paper behind stickers so I'm going to Pull those out. See what I got going before I snap that shut. Oh, here we go. So there is some more paper and there's the stickers. This is me and my bestie. Let me see if this, yep, this is with this here. So we're going to put that back. And we're gonna be working with this one today too. We're gonna to make it, because see, this is not gonna fit. But we're gonna make it fit. We're making our photos work for our base pages. I like that one. So, but I have to fussy cut. So this is gonna be a homework one, guys. It's gonna be a homework one. But that one I think we'll pull and then we'll do homework and then we'll come back to it the next time. This one needs a bunch of stuff. So we're just going to flip through here until I get to the next one. And then we will work on the couple that I've pulled. Has this started sparking your interest as far as working with your base pages? Now I've had some people tell me they don't have base pages. I've encouraged them to go look at Janet's channel, RTS Scrapbooking, and then to also do a search on base pages with YouTube just to learn, because there's so many wonderful, I know Myra's done some, I know Ginger's done some, and I think Teresa has, and I think Myra's doing one right now that is a series. And so, but I know there's a lot of other people, and forgive me if I didn't mention your name because that was not my intention. Those are the people that just popped off really quick with my mind. Uh, Karen from Yes Please Paper Crafts has done one. So those are just a couple that I know have done base page, just to for the basic base page. So I'm going to go ahead and... This was the other one that I was gonna do. So, cause this one is pretty much done. Whoops. And these, oh, there's a little flower there. I'm gonna get my, all my bits and bobs. Cause I did not have a whole lot. Oh, I know what the deal was with this one. So I'll talk to you about that in just a second. Okay, sorry about that, guys. So this is just the base page that was on the other side of this. So I'll put that back in. That does not have photos. This one has photos. And there's another layout for a two-page spread right behind it. And then there's this one. And then I think that was it. Yes. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. As we're working through our little base pages. Sorry, I got to get this back. I don't want it to smush my other papers or anything like that. Okay, guys. I, I love diagonals. It took me a while to really like them. This is super simple and sweet. This was a paper. And I fussy cut these embellishments out of it. This is a picture of... Miss Frances, and she unfortunately passed away. This was my stepmom's sister, and these ladies, they are just amazing. Miss Frances just wanted to come out and 
look at the property one more time and so she this did. was the last picture that they had sent me and so I just wanted to go ahead and put that on there just do a little layout about Miss Francis now I think I'm gonna go ahead and fussy cut the rest of this out and then I think I'm gonna find another piece of paper but see this is a four by six I just want to make it pop just a little bit more because this is just her okay guys I added that little pale green and I think it brings in this little pale green here but I'm wondering if I should bring in some rose like I said I brought I've got all of my things color coordinated and I've been kind of naughty and just kind of throwing a few of them in there so I had to do a little cleanup not bad not bad but I think I want to bring in this pale pink just a little bit and that's kind of yep that's what I'm gonna do oh that's gonna be pretty and then see it's just kind of making that my main focus don't you guys think that looks like it's on purpose Now, Grandma and Miss Frances, they love to play pinnacle. And they would go down. You know what? I might trim that down just a hair bit more. Just a hair bit more because I really like that green. So I'm gonna I'm gonna trim that down. Okay. Anyways, those these two loved to play pinnacle. And they would get all dressed up and they'd run down to the little senior center and they would play pinochle and they would not allow them to play together <laughs> as a team because they were pretty untouchable and they had ways of just yeah communicating without communicating if you know what I mean sometimes sisters are like that and it was a riot try to lift that up a little bit yeah okay and is it perfect nope but i love it and it's a miss it's a picture of miss francis in its scrapbook now do i want this other floral on there i'm not sure okay i added that there and i had this white space between these and i tried to rip this up and it just wasn't working so i just tucked a piece of colored scrap in there and then i have a couple of leaves and i'm going to add those leaves down here those will be super pretty what did I just do with that last leaf oh it's right here silly me silly me so I'll probably just tuck that in there and then that one popping out just a little bit okay and then I also went and grabbed my Nuvo drops and I'm going to go ahead and put some dots along this and that's what my final thing will be and I will leave it and go to work. And there's Claire. So that is how quick that base page came together. I know it may have not seemed because I had to stop and fussy cut this out and add these two layers. It really honestly didn't take me long. I just grabbed my scraps, put those two on there and then fussy cut that out grab my Nuvo drops and like I said I'll add the dots but I don't want to do that quite yet because I'm going to go ahead and show you these other two and then this little butterfly right here I don't really have a spot for him so he's going to go into my basket up there and then we'll go to the next one another page out of my base pages yay Get to look at this one and I wanted to look at this one real quick because this one is trimming the tree and this one is actually but we I was thinking because we were in a different um, city I was thinking maybe this one because of the 
car, but I think this is going to fit better on this one. And then, yeah, this will just fit better. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut a frame for this, cut this down, and I probably will add a mat to this. And we'll be right back on these. Okay. So I went ahead and I, what do you want? To, how many did I mat? I did a white, a black, a white, and then this was already, the white and the red was already there. So I'm gonna have to get me a pencil because this is just kind of freaking me out a little bit. <laughs> and then I did lift these up. So let's see if we can add anything more to this. Let's try to use what we have. I'm trying to move that so you guys won't have a glare on that photo. These are older photos and they have gloss to them. So, okay. Now I need to adhere this down because now that mat does have some bulk to it. And I had cut this out for this bottom part that was already there. But I thought what I could do is this is kind of plain up here. So I thought I would go ahead and take those. Let's try these out. I wonder if I can tuck it under the green. Do I want it under the green or that? Hmm. I think it'll get lost up there. So let's see. Put that there. So Sorry, Mr. Beans is up here, guys. This is Edgar. We lost his little friend last week, and so he's been kind of needy. So anyways, let's see. I kind of do want it to be down here. So I'm gonna put that up on some foam, and then I was like, well, these all have bows. And you know what? I may pull this all the way up and put it on foam too so it won't do that wonky thing. So this one's taking a little bit longer than I thought it was gonna just because I had to add so many mats to fit the picture. But like I said, it's the only picture that I had. It was a pre-done one. It's not something I can get back. But on this sticker sheet here, it does have a bow. So I'm gonna add that there. So even though I cut those, I think they worked out perfect. So that'll be cute. And I already have Merry Christmas, so I really don't need a title. Let's see what else. Making your wish. Merry Christmas. We already have Merry Christmas on there. Christmas time is here. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I can add some more of these little snowflakes over here. Oh yeah, because I'll tie in with that. Okay, I want a different color than just green, green. Oh, here we go. I guess I just needed to kind of look for them, huh? There, that gives me five across there. And then, I kind of want something on the corners here, and I do not have any more bows, but I do have those. What do you think, guys? That one, that one. Okay, this paper is super busy, and so I don't think I'm gonna do anything more than that. I am gonna pop this up, guys. So, unfortunately, Yes, I made my photo work for my mat, but I do have to make a couple little of adjustments. So, other than that, my layout is done. And yes, it did only take me, it took me less than 15 minutes. Maybe it took me 15 minutes when I add the foam onto that. So, anyways, yay! There's one out of my base page and another one scrapbooked. Here's the next one, and I did do a double mat on that one. I took some of that green and I'm using up all my scraps. This is perfect. And then I did use my uh, a black mat, cut that down. And then, so I thought that this had a lot of empty space up here. And I'm gonna go ahead and take this sticker down here and I'm gonna add it to the top. And it doesn't fit. That's frustrating. 
Okay, so we have this up here. I've got to make this come out. And what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to cut it. Okay, that doesn't fit all the way across. Now that's going to probably drive me nuts, but you know what? I'm going to let it go. I'm going to add this here. And let's see, what else can I add there? Okay, guys, I'm just going to leave it at that. Just keep it simple because that really kind of just frustrated me. But I think I'm just going to leave that there. You're not going to really notice it when you look at the at the layout in general. It's just going to be one of those things. But I do think that it gives it a nice resting spot. I can I don't I don't have anything to cut this and make it go further. So we're just going to go with it. We're just going to go with it. I tried my best. I tried my best. So I thought we had some enamel dots. We do. We have these ones here. And do we want to use red? Yep. Let's use some red. Because that's what we are doing today. Working with some red pieces. Oh. Those ones always get stuck to my nails. Anybody else? Does that happen to anybody else? Okay. Sets of three. There we go. And then I can do a little bit of journaling down here. There wasn't anything, it was just Christmas and at my dad's house. And we're gonna go from there. Okay, so we've done our three. Now, okay, I have to show you this picture of Edgar, you guys. What a silly kid. Okay, so we have those three done. Now, what are we gonna do next time? I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on I'm going to kind of give you guys a little bit of a, an assignment. If you choose to take it, you don't have to. So we got three done. Lickety split. I'm going to put these Nouveau crystal drops on there. Just a couple around here. And then I'll leave that to dry. And then when I come back, I'll be able to just go ahead and do my journaling and put that down. I wonder... I'm going to go look for a title. Just one second. Yeah. I thought I had saw something like this. And I'm just going to put this memory down here. It goes really well with the gold. And then I'll just share the memory and add some of those little hearts too. See, this is what's been kind of happening for me is I've just been grabbing I've been really trying to remember certain things I think I'm going to bring that down a little bit more but I have a little note that says okay Donna look at your six by six alphas for a title my embellishment cart my ephemera drawers flare washi thread ribbon and my dies and scraps so I'm always constantly looking at my little note there trying to bring that kind of stuff in I think I'm going to go ahead and Put a little heart up here. Tie all that in. Probably put one in over here. Finish off my memory. So I have been doing really well about getting my things used. Super excited. I'm doing really well with my freeze. And using the things that I have. And you guys, to be perfectly honest, I haven't really missed a whole lot. I've looked. And I'm like, yeah, I think I have something similar. And then I come in my scrappy space and I start looking around. I'm like, oh, I love that. I wanna play with that. So it's like, I'm not missing anything. I am not missing anything. Okay, that little O, I'm going to have to kind of squish them around because I want them to fit where I want them to. But Memory. Okay, 
And then I think I'm going to add this little heart here. There. Okay, perfect. I got a title that has a title. And that one does not. It has that little Christmas one. But, hmm, do I need a title with that? I don't think uh, so. This one I'm not going to put a title. I have this Christmas time is here. And I'm just going to leave it as that. And like I said, just do journaling. It's not... It's not like it was just a day, a Christmas day. And so I'm going to go ahead and, like I said, put those on. I'm going to clean up my mess here. And then we will look at what we're going to do the next time. So I am still trying to figure out how I really want to go about working through my base pages. And I want to give you guys an assignment. But I thought, you know what, instead of just saying if you have some fussy cutting or whatever, I thought, okay, this is what I'm going to do. And I think I'm just going to go through each and every point with you guys. If you are not interested, please fast forward. I appreciate you guys being here. I'm just trying to figure out how best to share my heart and to encourage everybody to grab their base pages and play along. So, um, so let's go ahead and pull a couple for next time. And there will be some homework involved. So the first thing is get out your base pages however you have them stored, and let's pull some. Now, I really want to play with this one, and I think I might just take the very first thing that I come across, and then that way I'll be forced to use it if I keep skipping over it, you know what I mean? And so I have my scraps, I have my photos, my sketch, I have my base page, and then I do have my stickers. And then I do have these stickers as well for title, if I use them. Okay, so that's going to be the first one we're going to play with the next time we come back. And then let's go ahead. This one has a photo. This one has a photo. And it's going to use both of these. And these are Doodlebug, which will be super cute. So we're going to pull those two. I'm just going to take them right out of here. And then the next one, oh, you guys are not going to believe that. The, so the next one that I wanted to do was literally the um, this one because I wanted to fussy cut. So we're going to do some fussy cutting and we're going to find some photos. So if you have a base page that needs some extra little embellishments or some fussy cutting, I challenge you to get that and also get a base page and then whatever else is needed such as photos. So I'm going to grab photos. I'm going to do some fussy cutting and then we'll come back and that gives me four layouts and we'll be playing with those. I'd love to know what you guys are doing. Sorry about the glare. I am super excited to be doing this with you guys. So please share in the comments. I would love to see everything. So let's go ahead and do our homework. I'm thinking this will probably be a week and a half away. So I'm going to schedule my next base page album for the 30th of April. So if you guys want to come and play along, I would love to have you. And that will give you plenty of time to start working on your projects. Okay, we'll see you then. Hope you guys are having a super amazing day and you're out there making lots of memories. And I can't wait to see your base pages. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.